Alright everybody, welcome back to Alien Your Hero. First thing you want to do is start your Steam VR. Okay. Get your Oculus Quest. You know, get your virtual desktop up and running. Virtual desktop streamer up and running. Okay. Have that going. And then, what you want to do is, you want to make sure your headset can see the play area. So go put it in your play area. Okay. The play area being inside the Guardian area. So go put that in there activate it okay and then what you want to do is you can activate your virtual desktop on your uh, oculus quest 2 do that then what you want to do is you want to after doing that make sure it's connected make sure that uh, the controls is connected and all that stuff when you see that okay go ahead and on your oculus quest to go over there and turn off virtual desktop so you can come to the computer and your mouse will work and you can do what you need to do so we're going to start right now okay all right so here in this video i'll be showing you how to install fallout 4 script extender also known as f4se for fallout 4. the installation is quite simple just go to f4se.silverlock.org the link for it will be down in the description below once you're on this page you're going to see two different versions of okay we're going to do exactly what this dude just said so let's go here it is the Fallout 4 script extender one being for Fallout 4 and one for Fallout 4 VR we're going to be downloading just the base Fallout 4 version as you see right here and we're not going to be doing what he's saying on that part we're going to be installing the Fallout 4 version that you see for the VR right here that's what we're going to be downloading here it is VR version only that's what we're going to be downloading. Let's do it. It is currently build 0.6.2. So next to the Fallout 4 runtime, click the 7Z archive hyperlink as you see on screen, and it will then ask you to... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to 7Z. As you can see, I had two copies of this stuff because I've, I've been doing this for a minute, trying to get this video to be go correctly now. To save it to your PC. Go ahead and select your downloads folder and hit save. Once it okay, so it's already saved in our downloads. We're using Google Chrome, so we just show in folder. Here it is. Okay, now it has downloaded. We can go ahead and open up our downloads folder, and here you'll see the FRSE in an archive. You will need 7-zip for this step. Once you have seven okay, so you can either use 7-zip or WinRAR. Okay. You can either use 7-Zip or WinRAR when it comes to this stuff. Here's 7-Zip. You see it? 7-Zip. You can download it. There it is. WinRAR, same thing. WinRAR. Boom. Same thing. 7-Zip is more free. And, that, and uh, WinRAR is download free and support. There it is. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. 7-Zip installed correctly. Just go ahead and right-click on the F4SE archive. You'll see a 7-Zip context menu. And in this menu, you want to select Extract to F4SE. Once you now, you heard that? Let's do it. We're going to go here, go to Downloads. Boom, there it is. We're going to use 2, the one that says 2 on it. For me. I mean, for y'all, it's going to be the regular, you know, without a number. So, anyway. Here it is. Boom. Extract to F4SEVR for us. Boom. And as you can see, there's the second the second copy is still right there. Okay, let's continue. If you do that, it will extract it into a separate folder. Now we can go ahead and open this folder up and we'll see a set of Good. Follow directions. Open this folder up. There it is. Looks the same. Highlight everything like him. Files and folders. So now that we have FRSE extracted into a folder, we can go ahead and open up Steam. Find Fallout 4 in your... Okay, same thing. Follow directions. We opened up Steam. Fallout 4. Okay. We're going to go properties, local files, browse local files. Boom. Follow directions. Steam library. Right click. 
go to properties, go to the local files tab and click browse local files. This will bring you into the Fallout 4 directory where you can see the Fallout 4 executable as well as the Fallout 4 launcher. So, so can we see the Fallout 4 executable? Let's re yes we can. There it is, okay? Yes we can. It says application. Alright, it's right there. There it is. Now. So now with the extracted FRSE files as well as the Fallout 4 directory opened, all you want to do is highlight everything in the F4SE folder Okay, so here it is. Everything in F F four S C folder for us is F four S E V R. It's highlighted. And drag it all into the directory below all the other items. Okay, so as his follow path shows games, Steams, Steam apps, common Fallout Four. So as our path shows Steam, Steam apps, common Fallout Four V R. So. All right, let's go here, do what he says, put it down here. Replace all. There it is. This folder is empty. Now it's empty, now it's all here. Here it is all to highlight it. Let's follow directions, let's see what he's doing so that it merges with what is here. Do not drag it into the data folder. If it asks you to merge or overwrite anything, hit yes. And that is the installation for F4SE. Now there is one thing you're gonna need to note, and that is from here on out, you are gonna need to launch the game through the F4SE loader. So in order- Okay, so let's see, what did he just say? From now we're gonna to have to launch the game from the F4SE VR loader, okay? Let's watch In order to ensure that FRSE is installed correctly, we need to go ahead and launch the game and get to the main menu. So once you've made it to the main menu after launching the game through the FRSE loader, you want to go ahead and open up the console with the tilde key. Go ahead and type in get F4SE version and hit enter. Boom. You see that? That's this okay. should show up FRSE version the version number, release ID, and runtime. If that's what you see, you have installed Fallout 4 Script Extender correctly. And Boom. If that's what you see, you've installed Fallout 4 Script Extender correctly. Okay, so let's go do the same thing. Here we are. Okay. Our VR is on. Okay. Our controllers is off, but our headset's in the play area. Okay. We're going to do what he did. Let's go ahead and load. That quick little box popped up. Okay, that would be your script extender. Fallout 4 is coming. Here it comes. Space bar, get out of this. Space bar. Okay. Now we're going to hit the tilde key. For me, it's under the escape, to the left of the number one, and to the top of the tab button. Hit this key. Come on. There. Okay. Get F or SE version. Oop. My top is messed up. Excuse me. Get F or SE version. Now we're not typing get F or SE VR version because type in this Fallout 4 Script Ascender it, it may be both of these are Fallout 4 Script Ascenders one is just the regular Fallout 4 and one is for VR okay either way it's Fallout 4 Script Ascenders version what version do we have we, we obviously have the VR version okay so let's see so we're typing that like he did hit enter there it is okay so he said we installed it correctly if we did that all right, now let's get out of this. Okay. Now, as now that part's completed. Okay. Now here's this. Okay, this is in your dashboard. Open up your vortex. This is in dashboard. Okay. You won't have this box yet. You, you know. Now. You may not have stuff in here. Okay. Because. You might have accidentally did what I did one time. I accidentally right-clicked, and I accidentally hit close. 
and I was no longer able to get my my stuff back. Okay, if we go to pl mods, plugins, you know, games, I mean, you can see it, you can click it, right? But if you click it, you're already in the Fallout 4 VR. But the, how you get it back is you go to your dashboard, you see nothing. What you want to do, go to settings, go to uh, dashlets, enable dashboard widget, hit starter, go back to dashboard, and there it is. Okay, it's back. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go to mods, we're going to open that uh, folder up, the one where it's in our downloads, boom, downloads, here it is, number two is on number two, right? If you open this up, see, it's not empty, it's still in there, okay, it's a zip file, everything's fine. What you want to do is you want to take this whole file and just put it in drag and drop, fi uh, drop files right there in there, okay? That's what you want to do. So for me, I already have it installed in here. Let's see what it's like when we install it. I'm going to hit delete archive too. Okay, both. So, so I can start over like you guys. Okay, remove. All right, it's gone. Okay, so let's do it, because this is how I was able to install it for Skyrim anyway. For Skyrim, it worked perfectly. For for Skyrim VR, it worked perfectly, but for Fallout 4 VR, it didn't. Okay? So, you take this, drag it down here. There it is. Go ahead, install. There it is. Now, now it's in here with our mods. Okay? Dashboard. Now, here we go. Right here, so you want to hit this so it scans it. Hit that little arrow, uh, circle arrow. Now, hit these three dots. Then go make primary, hit these three dots, go to edit. This is the file path. Okay. Program files 86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Fallout 4 VR, F4 SEVR Loader EXE for target. Then you go to start in. Program files 86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Fallout 4 VR. Okay. Run in shell checked. Run detached checked. Hit save. Okay. Hit the scan. Okay. The read the quick scan button. Now Okay. Make sure your headset's in your play area. They can see your play area. Okay. Now, run. You saw that little box popped up? That means the script extender just ran. It just loaded. So far, so good, everyone. Alright, spacebar, get out of this. Let's get out of this. Okay, tilt the key. Tilt the key, please. Alright, get F4SE version. There it is. Alright, so now you guys know, that's how you install Fallout 4 VR Script Extender with Vortex and get it working, okay? Now, something to mention. If you just do it the way like you do in Skyrim uh, VR, which was the, you know, you click and drag it down here to drag file and then you install it, it's not going to, and then you end up going here to dashboard, you're not going to see this play button, and you're going to be clicking this, and it's not going to load or nothing. You're not going to need to but play button will not be here. So you got to go through the other steps too. And you got to do the correct file path, because this is going to say target, that's going to say target, this is going to say start, and it's going to have some other gray letters right here. 
okay so I want to thank y'all for watching and that is how you get it to work with Vortex alright alright thanks for watching y'all